past 5 a.m. Let's go flying. I am here just outside Heathrow Airport in London about to take today's crazy trip up to Scotland. Just parked my car on this residential street on someone's driveway with Just Park. So today's flight is with Flybe initially from Heathrow. Uh, we're heading up to Aberdeen again, and then from Aberdeen up to Kirkwall in the Orkney Islands. And hopefully, weather permitting, we will be getting on a Logan Air Islander plane heading between on some little inter-island flights up there in Orkney including hopefully the world's shortest commercial flight between Westray and Papa Westray. Um, it's just two minutes long so nice long haul one there for you and then from there we're heading back down to Inverness tonight stopping over in Inverness this evening and then tomorrow morning back down to Manchester and down here to Heathrow tomorrow morning. <music> So here now at Aberdeen Airport, a great flight up with Flybe, just grabbing a coffee, um, about half an hour to wait until our flight up to Kirkwall, um, quite a nice clear sunny day on the way up here, got a great view of uh, my hometown of Mansfield on the way up as well, um, except it's raining up here, that's the last time, so yeah, next flight up to Kirkwall. Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, Flybe, Flybe, 2935 to Kirkwall, there's no ready for boarding for gate number 12. So here I am at Kirkwall Airport in the Orkney Islands. It's my first time ever here in Orkney. Um, it looks really beautiful um, on the way in. You can see over there, there is a jet stream on the apron. That's the turboprop aircraft that's just brought me in from Aberdeen. Um, and they're heading back to um, Aberdeen now. Um, so I've got a few hours here in Kirkwall. Uh, it's not too bad weather-wise. It's a little bit blustery, quite chilly though. Um, as is probably normal for this part of the world, I guess. Um, if I look at that backdrop over there, and whether you can see this, the plane on the apron, there's like the sea in the background, another island over there as well. It looks absolutely beautiful. Some great video um, footage on the way in today. So now I am going to head back in. I have got a very special flight coming up now. I'm heading across, hopefully, weather permitting, um, to Westray and Papa Westray the two um, airports that form the shortest commercial flight in the world. It's just two minutes between the two of them. So I'm gonna head back into this wonderful little airport here and try and see if I can get on board the flight and yeah, I'll see how we go. Okay, so I'm here now inside the terminal building at Kirkwall, right over there. It's the little eight-seater Britain Norman Island plane is going to take us off to do the world's shortest flight. Seems to be a rush hour here at Kirkwall at the moment. There's a couple of other planes on the ramp there as you can see, but this one here 
is our little boat course that's going to take us across to some of those islands that you can see in the distance there. Okay, so I'm back here now at Kirkwall Airport here in Orkney, uh, back on the mainland of Orkney and well, that was an absolutely incredible flight on the um, Islander with Logan Air up to Westray and Papa Westray and back again and oh my what a wonderful flight it was. Um, so unique riding on such a small aircraft anyway but um, these are probably some of the most remote parts of the United Kingdom and being able to fly there and see the islanders and how they kind of manage the whole operation is really strange. They have one guy at each airport who is the fireman, he does the check-in, he loads the baggage and everything. It's just absolutely incredible. And it was funny because as we got back, as we were taking off from each of those places, the um, guy who did all of those jobs was just getting back in his car and going back to his day job, which was <laughs> which was quite funny to see really. Um, but it is absolutely beautiful up here and I don't know whether you can see, I'm, I'm kind of overlooking the airport at the moment where I am now, uh, the runways down there in the distance, um, the subway mills and the West Ray and Papa West Ray are kind of over in that sort of a direction. Um, the airport is now really quiet, um, there's no more flights now until later on when my next flight arrives which is my flight to Inverness. Here now, so I'm not going to get much of a chance to do much more outside stuff. I'm hoping to get some good video, even though it's night time on the next flight. I'm not guaranteeing anything because obviously it's a night flight between two really remote islands, so I'm guessing that there's um, not going to be a great deal to see out of the window. But I will try my best to get that video filmed as well. Um, but yeah, back here at Kirkwall, about to go back in the terminal where it's nice and warm, grab myself a bite to eat, um, and just sit around for three hours. So 
here we are at Inverness Airport in Scotland. We've just arrived from Kirkwall, so we just need to find a taxi now. I'm staying here in near the city centre tonight. I've got a very early flight in the morning back down to Manchester, so um, hotel tonight. I'll try to find a taxi somewhere if there's any around here at this time of night. the hotel in Inverness. This is the Premier Inn um, Inverness East. It's about a 10 minute drive from the airport and yeah when I'm traveling generally in the UK there's only one chain that I will always kind of trust and that's Premier Inn because they are the same. I've stayed in Premier Inns from down on the south coast of Devon right the way up here to Inverness in Scotland and they're all exactly the same. You know what you're going to get, it's a basic decent quality room, decent standard, very high standard of um, room as well and they're always really cheap. This is less than £30 for the night. So yeah, I'm going to try and get some sleep now. I will be... I've got a five o'clock taxi in the morning to get back to Inverness Airport again to get the six o'clock flight down to um, Manchester on the Embraer 145. Uh, it's been a really good day of filming today. I've got some really nice flights filmed. I didn't film the Logan Air flight just now into Inverness because there was no point. It was just pitch black for the entire flight. So I didn't bother with that, but I've got some fantastic video footage today from the other flights I've taken, um, from London up to Aberdeen, Aberdeen up to Kirkwall, and then obviously all around the islands on the Islander. And yeah, so tomorrow's proceedings are a Embraer 145 down to Manchester and then a British Airways Airbus down to Heathrow in business class just to round off the trip and my last filming trip of the year in style. Right, time to get some sleep. I will see you all in the morning. in the morning. It's really early, it's really cold, it's just below freezing outside. It's the coldest morning of the year so far. And let's go, we're going flying, we're going home now. I'm down to Inverness Airport, I'm in the taxi now and 6.45 flight over back down to Manchester on the Embraer. So let's head down there now. That's me. Yep, yeah, thank you.
So here we are back at Heathrow Airport in London on what is a beautiful autumn morning. Look at that weather, it's gorgeous. It's about seven degrees here as well, which is about eight degrees warmer than it was at Manchester where it was minus one. So they've not had a frost down here, but we've got a beautiful view as we came in over London um, of the city. It's always nice when you come in on the 27 runways here at Heathrow. Now I've got a two and a bit hour drive back home to Mansfield. Um, which, which is strangely closer to Manchester Airport than it is to here, but um, unfortunately with KLM changing all of my flights and cancelling them all, then this is why I'm ended up here at Heathrow instead of at Manchester. So no problem, I've just got a bit of a drive now to get back home. Thank you so much for watching everybody, really do appreciate um, all of your comments, likes, shares. Please do hit like and subscribe, I do one of these videos for each of the trips that I take, which is generally about once every month or so, and then obviously the full flight videos which you can catch here on YouTube as well by clicking that subscribe button, you'll be able to see all of them as and when we release them every other week. All that remains for me is to say thank you so much for watching and for flying with us today, and I'll speak to you soon.